and, and we stayed huddled. And Congresswoman snow, Beth Van Dyne and her family on. noticed a car parked outside of her Irving home Wednesday afternoon. Police say she didn't think anything of it until she heard a gunshot. He never came up and rang on the doorbell, nothing like that. It was just as he was walking up to the front porch, that is where uh, the incident took place. Irving police say the man who shot himself was a longtime friend of the congresswoman. They identified him as Chris Dillard, a longtime political activist. Photos on his Facebook page show him with some of the state's top GOP leaders. He was well known in those circles. His LinkedIn profile shows he recently worked as Van Dyne's communications director. Her spokesperson read a statement. I am still shocked and grieving that Chris would take his life. We had known each other for years. He had been to my home numerous times for holiday parties, fantasy football draft parties, and get-togethers with friends. Police say they searched Dillard's home, but they say they didn't find a suicide note and say he had no history of mental health issues. As far as the reasoning and the cause behind why uh, this individual decided to um, commit suicide or, or, or die from suicide there, at the Congresswoman's house is still unknown. Van Dyne issued some tweets that said she is devastated and praying for Dillard's family. In Irving, I'm Rebecca Lopez.